What's up guys, in this video, we're gonna be talking more about Walmart and setting up payments within your Walmart seller account. You got two choices. You've got HyperWallet and Payoneer. And to be fair, I don't know much about them, but I know that I need to set one up because it's the only way you get paid from Walmart. So we're gonna dive in. In a previous video, we've already gone over the business verification side of setting up your account. Feel free to watch that video at another time. Make sure to watch this one first because setting up payment and knowing which service you're gonna use might help you better prepare for how you wanna set up your business account, maybe. All right, I'm in the seller center for Walmart. Again, you can see this green check mark we have right here for the business verification. We've already done that part. So I'm gonna to go to payments, this get paid button. We're gonna click that. And I messed with this a little bit. So you'll see this continue application for Payoneer. But what I didn't like is that when I went to actually, when I got to the end of the process, it said that I needed like a bank account with my actual business name attached to it. I'm assuming it's gonna be the same way with HyperWallet, but I don't have a business account with this new business that I made already together. I haven't done that yet. So I'm gonna actually try HyperWallet first and see if I can get through with a bank account I already have. That way it's less stuff you guys have to set up. But remember, I do already have a business created an EIN, all that stuff. Let's see how far we get. So I'm gonna choose HyperWallet first. I'm just gonna hit create an account. And while we're waiting for that, if you could just go ahead and like this video to help the YouTube algorithm for me, that would be super amazing. And I would, I'll dream about you tonight for you doing that. Uh, yeah. And subscribe. If you could just subscribe, that's gonna help me out a ton. And you're gonna get notified when I make new videos. And if you don't wanna be notified, still subscribe and then just don't get the notifications. Like that's fine. Just subscribe is all I'm saying. All right, let's get in here. All right, so if I cut away your blur stuff, it's because I'm entering in sensitive information. So just know I'm on the HyperWallet application form. So it, it auto fills in my legal business name. Um, you can enter in a, a DBA or a doing business as, which is what that stands for, or a trade name. It asks you what kind of business type you are. And of course there's corporation, partnership, public company, private company, whatever. Most of the time it's just gonna be a corporation. If you did an LLC or even um, like a sole proprietorship, you're not really any of those other options. They're just different business entities basically. It auto-generated my employer identification number because Walmart already has that from our application, so that's really nice. Business registration number, it did not auto-fill that one in. And that, if you hover over this little question mark, the business registration number is a unique number given to a company when it is incorporated. This is gonna be from our articles of incorporation that I got personally. I don't know what yours will look like, but mine is from the state of Kansas. And this is going to be the number that they gave me as like my business, like as it says, registration number. So I'm gonna go grab that really quick, fill that in, and then we'll move on to the rest of it. As I'm going to get this, make sure when you create random businesses for online endeavors to keep those somewhere because it's really easy when you're just trying to, you know, make new businesses up just to be like, okay, yeah, I'm just, I need to get to the next step. And if you really rush and get ahead of yourself and not keep track of all the stuff that you did, uh, it can kind of just be a headache later. I've run into that several times where I now need a certain number from something. And I know I printed it out like a year ago, but I didn't really save it. Or maybe I saved it as a screenshot, which is stupid. And then I never renamed the file so I can't search for it. It's a, it's kind of a dumb, <laughs> a dumb ways to do that. So make sure you're, you're labeling things correctly so that you can search for them later, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I found my, my uh, limited liability company articles of incorporation from Kansas. And just so you know, on my paper, there is a business identity ID number. It doesn't say registration number, so the verbiage may be different for you, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and enter that in now. All right, after you enter that in, it asks you what, um, country you're from. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the United States and make sure I put that in there. And just verify that my address information matches. So if you do have your documents, uh, feel free to just tab over and double check and make sure the address matches. It should, it, it pulled it over from our, from our application just from Walmart, like I said. And I'm gonna hit continue. All right, now it's creating an account profile for HyperWallet, I'm assuming. So it auto fills in my name, it wants my date of birth. Um, I don't know if all of these fields, if or if any of these fields are really required. There's no required like indicators next to anything that I can see. The more you fill out, I'm sure the more it seems like you're a real person, because hopefully you are. But uh, 
yeah, I'm just gonna fill this out real quick. All right, so far so good. I'm now in the activate account stage. It has filled in an email address for me. I need to create a password and do some security questions and then agree to their legal agreements. So I'm gonna create my password, do some security questions and mark that I agree and then hit continue and then we'll see what's next. So far so good though, pretty easy. Okay, after submitting my security information, there is an e-documents disclosure. It says available funds zero. So, so far it's not asking me for a bank account. I'm sure maybe I'll have to connect a bank account to HyperWallet, but we're not there yet. Um, just seems like something we're gonna have to do. But we might not have to actually connect a bank account with the legal name that matches. So we'll see though. I could be totally wrong. Uh, I'm just gonna agree to their stuff. It says sub substitute form W9. It's gonna ask you for your federal tax classification. Mine is a liber limited liability company, C Corporation. Exemption codes. I do not have any exemption codes. There's no reason why we would have those. By checking this box, I agree. By checking this box, I agree. Please type your first and last name. So far, so good. It auto-generates the date of signing on there. Really, it's just verifying for W-9 purposes and tax purposes. So again, we're just gonna hit confirm and see where it takes us. Your taxpayer information has been successfully verified. Yes, all right, I'm gonna hit okay. All right, so it's asking us to add a new transfer method. This is the part where I imagine I'm curious if there's a hiccup or not. So I see two options. We have PayPal and then we have a bank account. I'm gonna see if I can just connect my existing PayPal to it. If that's the case, great, which is probably one of the benefits of HyperWallet being a PayPal service. So I'm gonna hit continue here with PayPal and then we'll see. And the reason I would prefer to do PayPal if possible is because I already have my bank account tied, my personal bank account tied to a pr another PayPal account that I use for business stuff. So if I can do that, then that would be amazing. Now connecting a PayPal account, I have not hit submit yet, but it says transfer method information, the fee, is zero, there's no transfer fee going from this to your PayPal account, and the processing time is usually within 30 minutes, it says, so that's that seems okay to me. For, for us trying this Walmart thing out, that's totally cool with me. Okay, I think we're good to go. So far, it, we're just in the transfer center now, so we're just kind of like use, using the platform at this point. It's no longer part of the setup process. So I'm gonna go back to the, to the payments thing Hit refresh first just to see if it has the little green check mark next to payments. It does not. So I'm going to say get paid again and see if, uh... okay, I hit, I hit the thing like you saw. Success, your accounts are now connected. Okay, it says active with a green check. All right, under payments, as you can see on the screen, we have a green check mark that says success. So payments are all complete. We're set up with HyperWallet. I would recommend HyperWallet. It was a lot easier than what the Payoneer setup was. So let's just go with HyperWallet. If you're gonna go with Payoneer, then you're gonna need a bank account with your business name tied to it. And you're gonna have to go apply for a bank account with all that information. It's a whole extra step. So I would just do the PayPal thing if I were you, because I like to keep things easy. If you wanna see the business verification and how we got the green check mark there, check out this video right here. That's gonna show you what I did to get there. Um, there was some hiccups in that, but whatever. And if you got any value from this video, please like the video and subscribe and comment if you have any questions. If you subscribe, then you'll see when I make the next video where it says shipping and any other future videos I make on selling on Walmart. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.